Did you know that the most asked questions I've got this year is how to become a podcast guest? You are a super knowledgeable agency owner and have all the key ingredients to make a great podcast guest, one which listeners will adore. Today, I will give you all the tools and my secret sauce for success to help you get more podcast invites to the best podcast shows your ideal audience listen to. I will reveal examples of good and bad pitches for getting podcast invites, and I will show you how you can use podcasts for getting high quality leads for your agency. You will find that this is a brilliantly cost-effective way to build brand awareness and trust with your best fit agency clients. Firstly, let's look at how you can make your own pitch irresistible with the help of an actual pitch example. I'll also tell you what to do to make your pitch even more persuasive, so keep watching. My friend Joe Casabono kindly shared this example, which I'll show you on screen. I met Joe in the lovely GoWP community and he helps people make money podcasting and also hosts the amazing How I Built It podcast linked in the description. Someone on Abby Wright's team sent him this to get an invite. Firstly, she shows she really listened to the podcast. Just look at the first couple of paragraphs. Then Abby is introduced in an absolutely non douchey way. Fantastic move to also send a link to relevant content that shows her expertise and gives a feel for what she will be like as a guest. One thing to add perhaps is some specific topic suggestions. Now here's the five star pitch approach you can adapt for your own future pitches. Show that you've really listened to the podcast. Identify what value you can bring to the interests and challenges their audiences have. Show that you're an expert, but do this in a non douchey way because if you're too boastful, this really puts people off. Suggest a couple of topics and say why these would appeal to their listeners. Before I help you find the best podcast for your agency, let's name and tame the elephant in the room. Because you might be thinking this in the back of your mind. You feel too nervous, you believe you have nothing interesting to say, or you worry that you don't have the right equipment. This is your self-doubt taking over and you can totally do this as an expert agency owner. Today I will help you tackle all of those self-limiting beliefs, so stay tuned. Because when you become a podcast guest, you will get in front of people who are interested in what you have to say and it really positions you as an expert in their mind. You can also get them to sign up to your email list if you do it right, so keep watching for my secret source for leads generation success via podcast. If you want to get more agency growth secrets, download my brand new agency growth ebook. I am super excited to share this new free ebook with you. Having interviewed nearly 30 agency owners from across the world, you will find the link to download it in the description. Back to helping you beat your podcast nerves. Here's a little story from someone who might inspire you too to overcome your podcast nerves. When I messaged the brilliant Travis Back from Northwest Media about being a podcast guest, he was a little hesitant about saying yes. Travis had been a guest on one small podcast, but I knew he would simply be ideal and I sent him some encouraging tips. And this is what Travis recommends to agency owners who also want to become podcast guests. Check out your network. Is there someone who is also in the same industry that can recommend you to a podcast host? I actually played that role here. I connected Travis with a lovely Lee Jackson for his award-winning agency trailblazer podcast. Travis says that a personal connection like this will really help you ease your nerves. I also asked him, you know, was it easier than he expected? And Travis said yes it's like ripping the band-aid off talking over the internet especially now comes naturally more than ever i also asked travis what made him feel more confident on the day travis said that i guess in a way knowing more about your topic is what really helps also you probably underestimate how much you really already know on a topic this is absolutely gold star dust system from travis thank you so much you are a star i hope this little story inspired you tell me in the comments what could you do to beat your own nerves Secondly, here's how you find the best podcast for your target clients. I find the easiest way to do this is to Google podcasts in your industry and I'll show you an example here. Ask on LinkedIn or on Facebook groups where your clients hang out. Ask your clients in your next newsletter what they are currently listening to. Finally, search on podcast directories shown here. Now you might struggle to secure a podcast slot on one of those big podcasts, but build your confidence and reputation for being a great guest and then reach out to them. If you are short of time, and I know you might be, explore using paid for or free services like Matchmaker or Podchaser. Some podcasts also conveniently let you apply online, like Brent Beaver's fantastic digital agency podcast. I love being interviewed by Brent and this is the form I completed. Thirdly, how do you get your pitches accepted for the best podcast? 
As promised, here's my secret sauce for success of you. Start off by creating a list of the five target podcasts. This will help you keep on track and make you so much more efficient. I am German after all. Listen to at least two episodes on each podcast and make a note why you like this. What do I mean by this? Did they have a great summary for the listener? Or do you like the style of their show notes or their questions? Or did you like a particular guest or topic? Make a note of all of this because as you've seen earlier, you will need this for creating a very persuasive pitch. The next part is making sure that you don't just remain an invisible podcast fan. Here's how you become more visible to a podcast host. Subscribe to a podcast and leave a review. When the podcast host shares a new episode on my social media, make a thoughtful comment and share it with your own network. Sign up to their newsletter and reply to them. Putting in this upfront work will pay off as your pitches will become so much more persuasive because the podcast host will have you on top of mind. Now you've warmed them up, it's time to send them the persuasive pitch we mentioned earlier. Here's a bonus tip for you. Apply this underutilized, brilliant strategy, which totally works. Write a blog with top podcast choices for your audience. Then reach out to the podcast owners to build that relationship. I did exactly that with this blog and now I got invited for Kim's amazing podcasts. I'm so excited. Fourthly, how do you get the most of your podcast appearances for leads generation and audience growth? Again, this is all in the podcast preparation. So know what you ideally want the listeners to do so that it's completely a no-brainer for them. For example, have a lead magnet and interesting stories and examples handy that will appeal to the listeners. Your goal here is to really encourage them to check you out and to get on your email list. This means you can then nurture that relationship and stay top of mind for the day when they might have a need for your services. To make promoting you easier, have a bio ready for the host, photographs and all your links. If anything additional is mentioned during the interview, send it to the host. Be ready to say how people can get in touch with you. Promote the interview on your own channels to get more eyeballs on it. You can see on the screen how I shared all the links with James Rose following his brilliant interview for the Agency Highway podcast. I recommend you check it out, it's linked in the description. Fifthly, I promised you to also show you a bad pitch to tell you exactly what you need to avoid. Here it is, Joe, thank you so much for sharing this. Would you like to have Jim on as a guest to talk about his innovative background and passion for baseball? Wow, you can easily see just how douchey this is. No mention of why Jim likes Joe's podcast. And it doesn't really say what the value is to Joe's audience. I hope seeing this will totally help you to avoid bombing like this when you send your next pitch. One last thing I promised you is a quick behind the scenes view of my favorite equipment. You really don't need the most fancy setup. Here on the screen, you will find my current setup. I also show you a real basic microphone, which my good friend Lee Jackson suggested when I first started out. Audio is the most important thing when it comes to being a good podcast guest. And Joe recommended also adding thick curtains to my room to make it less sound echoey. And it made a huge difference. Be a star and give this video a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more agency growth tips from me. If you want to discover the best podcast choices for agency owners, watch this next. You can find all the best agency growth tips in this playlist. You can dive in right now. It's totally binge worthy. See you in the next video. Dankeschön!